thought you wanted them to join us. They will. Part of my heart. Holy shit. You are a badass. Welcome to Knock Bro Nation. Welcome back, guys. Jarrell here. And I'm Josh, and we're here to review Morning Star, episode 11 of The Walking Dead season 10. Wow, man. If you guys haven't checked out our reaction for it yet, I'll link it below. Check it out. We absolutely enjoyed this episode. A lot of feels, a lot of tearing going on. There were on. some feels, yes. Um, and uh, that was it. really early in the morning, so you could probably tell <laughs> I was dead. Yeah, it was pretty early in the morning, but... Uh, it was a great episode. I love the structure of it. Just the, the whole buildup of everything was really great because it kind of got some characters to reconnect. I mean, we got Daryl and uh, Ezekiel to reconnect. We got Daryl and Carol to kind of hash out some stuff. We cannot, we can, oh, we can never pass up some little Judith, especially with Daryl. Yeah, you know absolutely. I mean? uh, it was great. I the loved it. The opening was amazing. The opening was sick. Yeah. And I think going back watching it, yeah, I think they were using. Um, intestines for the for the sacks and for the catapults. Yeah, they're probably I don't know if they were human intestines, maybe animals, whatever it was. It was intestines. It was cool. It was awesome. That was pretty sweet. And I just like the you know of trying to think of okay, what else did they mix with the tree sap to make it flammable? It was almost like kerosene. Don't man. really know. I mean, yeah. we don't know what. The whispers have they could I, have stashes I, of gasoline. I, you somewhere. know, I, I am not going to waste my time no. uh, researching <laughs> what uh, you could mix with tree sap to yeah. get flammable uh, materials. But let uh, us know in the comments. Sure. I'm sure one of you knows. Let us know. Sure, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it was cool. But I mean, it's because yeah, I mean, you're thinking like, okay, sh yes. Um, Hilltop, you know, has a lot of wood. Uh, you know, the, the fences are made of wood. The houses are made of wood. And what would really make it flammable? You just can't light an arrow, which will probably burn out as it's being shot, to make it work. And I think they did something really intuitive and technological for what they have yeah. to potentially, and it will happen in the next episode, burn down Hilltop. Yeah, uh, you know, a couple things I was surprised when it came to... Hilltop and its defenses. Uh, one, I, I thought there'd be more people than that. Um, now, I know that you can't... Maybe for production mm. purposes, you can't... I, I just thought there were more Hilltoppers than just, like, 20 or 30 people. Yeah. Now, I know that they couldn't get Alexandria and they couldn't get Oceanside. It was too late. The roads were blocked off. There's, It wasn't happening. Um, but, that is true. But, yeah. Well, I mean, well, actually, it's... Actually, to the scale of it, it was probably, there was probably more of 30 people. Like, when you showed the back shot of them know, lining dude. up. They showed the whole Maybe, group. I would say at the most, it was probably like maybe 50, maybe 60. I think there would be more than that. Uh, Hilltop's not that big. Maybe. But you, you, mean, could, you could actually be right. I mean, there could be more, but maybe they maybe they di they uh, divided up to go to Alexandria, yeah. to Oceanside, and they're kind of split up right now. And that's why they didn't have so many. Yeah, you know, with, and another thing that I was surprised was uh, Earl. And, and, you know, him still, kind of rallying up. the troops to get yeah. everyone to fight. I mean... That was interesting. It was really interesting. Was I mean, interesting. I, I expected someone else other than er Yumiko, uh, Ald Alden. Uh, but here Earl comes out of nowhere. And he's kind of, gar you know, getting people together to fight this battle. It was... And I love during cool. that scene, I think we actually... Uh, I think they actually revealed Jerry's kids' names. I think when Aaron was speaking, he was he was talking about Jerry's kids' names. So yeah. I think they uh, revealed that. Now there is also I loved. Um, there is actually a deleted scene. Uh, so guys with AMC Premiere, you guys will be able to check this out. But there was a deleted scene actually with Yumiko and Daryl. So Yumiko is out in the woods. She's shooting arrows at a walker that she has up on a tree for target practice. Oh jeez, and it's pretty cool. But what was great is. Yumiko talked about Magna and she talked about how scared she is because of how they were fighting before she left and what she said the last thing that she said to her. So we got that in the previous yeah. episode, you know, with Magna talking about what she, she felt bad because of what she said to Yumiko. 
I, I kind of wish they would have put that scene in there. I wish so too. I mean, because it's, you know, it doesn't make Magna's strife so one-sided, right? Exactly. Like, you, that is naturally going to happen when you have when you're pulled away from someone you love. Like mm -hmm. you're going to think about them, and then the other side's going to think about them, and then you're going to think about what you could have done differently. And yeah. and it would be nice to see that from both sides. Yeah, we get it from Kelly, of course, but yeah. we didn't get that side from Yumiko. We know Yumiko wants to get them, of course, but. The deleted scene was really good just because of the fact that they basically say the same thing. They yeah. wish they wouldn't have said these harsh things to each other where they could potentially one of them could die or survive and they'll both one of them would never know how they felt. Yeah. So I thought that was really uh, great. Let's let's do this. Let's talk about things leading up to the battle and then we'll get into the battle. Like cool. uh Carol. Let's talk about Carol. You know, um, I I love the scene with her and Lydia. Um, that was an amazing scene. Lydia basically it, told her straight up, like, did you, catch, you, you hate yourself. Did you catch, here's Lydia kind of uh, reminiscing over a heart with Henry and Lydia uh -huh. on it. Yeah. And as Carol comes up, she covers it up she and blocks it. it. Yeah. And, I, I mean, I don't know if she knows it was there. I think she just wants to, um, I, she I may want to cover it up because she didn't want her to get upset well or, I, and i got the know. sense of that lydia's like this is mine like i'm not right. i'm yeah. carrying this um and and i want only me to carry this and you know we don't truly know how carol really feels for lydia i mean she knows that her and her son had a relationship but i don't think she knows it was to that extent of how much lydia did love him and how much henry loved her i mean he risked his life to go fight to go save her. Yeah, um, and, and uh, who knows with Carol at this point? I mean, she's not thinking about that. Well, I, no, I'm, I'm she's, sorry. She's thinking about Henry. She's not thinking about their relationship. She's got she wants one alpha. thing on her mind. Yeah, and, and I think that at this point, do you think she's kind of just done with kids? Like, <laughs> I cannot point. accept another kid in my life at because, this point. Yeah, yeah. I loved it though, just because Lydia was telling her, "Look, you know, it sucks that you hate yourself. You hate the world because your kid died." You know, killing my mom isn't gonna isn't gonna save us. I mean, it's not just my mom; it's Beta yeah. and the Horde and the rest. Yeah. So you kill Alpha, that doesn't mean they're gonna stop. Beta, we'll get into that later in the you know other videos, but it won't stop. Yeah. But um, I love that part. I mean, I, I Carol, I, I think she's really coming to terms with what she did, and she's seeing the gravity of it. Um, she um, kind of got a little bit of happiness in her with ezekiel i love them reconnecting <laughs> yeah you know i know i mentioned kind of quickly i don't know if i cut it but i kind of said i wonder if she's doing this just to to feel good again well and not, i think king but, i think king ezekiel felt that way too a little bit like he's like yeah. hey, would this be any different right yeah and um you know it was great to see that i i get the sense that that's probably the last time you're going to see them two together um, maybe for intimately this season. I yeah, think so. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, uh, the scene with her and Daryl, um, yeah. wasn't much mm -hmm. there, but was enough it to, yeah. 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 And I, I know I mentioned in the video too, I was kind of like, Oh, he just walked away. And you were like, well, that was all that needed to be said. Yeah. And that, and that was true. They have, Daryl was thinking about what's to come and he said his piece, boom, you don't need to hug it out right now because they got a battle. Talk about someone so, that's like getting shit done. Yeah, yeah, Daryl, dude, he's he's stepping up, man. I mean, he's being the leader that he may. I think maybe the character doesn't want, in a sense. You yeah, know? I, I completely but agree. I I think that Daryl doesn't want what he has right now. I think that he realizes that he's kind of the de facto Rick, right? Mm -hmm. But doesn't want that role. But what's great but is knows that, that he has to do it, right? Yeah, but he has great supporting. Uh, I would say generals behind yeah. him. You know, he's got other people that can help him. Uh, now, one thing that I that I, I kind of don't like, but I still kind of get it. But I think they're kind of playing it out too much. Is with Alden. Um, you know, I, I understand that he's still cautious about whispers, and you know, he's. It seems like he's fine with Lydia, but of course with Gamma, he's like, no, you're not going to come and visit your nephew or whatever. And I just and he couldn't even he couldn't even say. Enid's, Enid's name because of how traumatic it is, but I'm just kind of like, dude, like, you have to trust these people. Here, here's my argument. Trust Aaron. Here's my argument against that. Yeah. Like, I'm I'm with you. Yeah. I really am. But there's a difference between Lydia and Gamma. Uh, oh, yeah. Lydia obviously <clears throat> wasn't there when Enid was taken. Wasn't there when Enid's head was, when she was decapitated. But he still blames her, though, because she was You could make an argument that Gamma might have been there. 
Potentially. No, we don't know that, of course. We don't but, know that, but yes. But to Alden. To Alden, yeah. That's true. No, I, 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 yeah, I definitely do get it, but I think it's just like, you got to give have a have a little give a little bit but of course i know why it, it, you know it will be interesting to see um his take on things after he sees that gamma's fighting against them yeah and we'll and get into our them. predictions cuz there's a couple shots in the predictions that i think gamma will be um doing some Whoops. pretty cool stuff so no <laughs> it's all good um uh the Ju judith stuff was really great uh you know mentioning that she doesn't want to lose her mom. She doesn't want to lose Daryl. She doesn't want to lose Aunt Carol. And the I quick love call that. to Michonne. Yeah, the, the radio. And I actually, um, so it was Daito. It was D-A-I-T-O. I had to put the captions on. And I, I guarantee that was to Michonne. Yeah. We never heard about the call sign before, but who else is she going to be on a walkie calling to? Yeah. It's going to be Michonne. Yeah. Uh, but I just love that, um, you know, Daryl's kind of like, you know, you know what you're fighting for. And don't be ashamed of how you feel. And I, we know, I know you want to fight, but uh, you know, I want you to be safe. I want RJ to be safe. And he's putting her in charge in a way of RJ and the other kids, along with Ezekiel, to make but that I, promise. I, I loved Judith saying, you know, look, um, I'm. She's saying that she's not scared, but then she says, "What if RJ's scared of losing you?" And lose, right. he's basically saying, yeah, she's scared, but she right. she plays it off like it's RJ. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, she's so sweet, but I, I I think in the next episode, I think she's going to break that promise. Um, I don't think it's gonna. She's gonna. I think she's gonna stay and fight because we've seen some scenes of her fighting yeah. at Hilltop with the fire. Well, so she I may not have a choice, right? She, she may not. They might. They get could to, get like, cut off. Like they're gonna get the kids out, but that doesn't mean they're gonna have to battle on the way of getting them out. Right. So yeah. Um, but uh, I think the last thing that we have to talk about pre-battle is Eugene. Eugene, big stuff, guys. Big revelation of the Commonwealth story arc to come. Uh, maybe Assuming that it's called the Commonwealth. Yeah, we still don't we know don't if they're going to call it the Commonwealth, but they are taking characters from that story arc, of course. Stephanie, the radio. And they are meeting in a, a lot closer location than they, what they did in the comics. Um, they're only maybe a couple hundred miles and going to West Virginia where they are, but uh, in the comics, they actually were heading to Ohio. I just so. love that <laughs> I got my uh, comic book scene that I, that I suggested yep, that we yep. were going to get, and that was Rosita coming in, Saying, who yeah. is this on the radio and freaking Stephanie out that because of the yeah. agreement that Eugene had with Stephanie. Yeah, so. that was perfect. Yep. Yeah, I really like it. And I think it was really great of, you know, leading the fans to think like, comic book fans like, oh, Rosita and Eugene are going to get together. Man, that and, was cold. But, but it, I get it. But it. I get it. It fit, it fit perfectly. Because in the comics, uh, you know, Eugene and Stephanie do have a relationship. So it kind of, and of course in the comics, by that time, Rosita wasn't around because she, you know, died in the pikes. But um, I thought it was great. And yes, he loves Rosita. He loves her. But interacting with Stephanie changed, you know, he, he felt so connected to Stephanie. Yeah. And, and also there's another community out there. So it's not, mm -hmm. it's not just, you know, he's thinking, oh, I just want to meet her because of the community. He's, grown attached to her. I think of everything they're talking about. Yeah, I so. just I just love the the finally the moment he gets to go <laughs> after Rosita. He has his chance. I thought it was a dream. I thought can't it can't like, take it. Yeah, I thought that was going to be like a dream or something. I like, thought she was going to pull back, but no, she was she was legit, but she was testing. She him. was she wanted to really prove and see do you like me or do you like this girl? Well, I don't think it was so much do you like me, but does your feelings for her overshadow what you what feel you, for me right exactly yeah. i loved it though yeah. and he's you know he she's her bff or he she is his bff yep I de facto it. bff yeah I love it. <laughs> so i love that man so yeah battle time battle time i mean the short battle time we got the but i thought it was great the battery and the uh the, oh the yeah electric line the electric was lines sweet. that was perfect. badass that was it didn't perfect. last long didn't but last it was long. badass i mean it's it's a good it's a good deterrent. I mean, it's going to help. But yeah, I mean, the more walkers are going to be on that, they're going to fall over. It's going to topple You down. could see the look, just quick disdain on Eugene's eyes as, damn it, yeah. <laughs> as it failed. Well, even like at the one, the other barrier where they're fighting and, you know, smashing heads where Luke is like, oh my God, there's so many. And it starts to crack and crumble and they know that they're screwed. And then, you know, when, when Beta unleashes the, the, the fires and everything... Um, and when Alpha, I mean, seeing Negan do that, 
you know, it, it, it was we tough. know that he is just still playing a part. It was tough uh, seeing Negan do that. Well, um, but let's talk about Negan and Alpha let, for let, a second. Let's talk about that. So we, we saw Negan tell Alpha or offer to Alpha, look, we, we don't have to take these people out. We can, they can join us. All right. And that's, that's your first sign right there. That he is still on our side yeah. because he does not want bloodshed. He's wanting to talk his way to Alpha to say, just make him surrender and just do it that way. But of course, in Alpha's mind, oh, they will surrender. They will be our guardians. <laughs> you know, Alpha's not changing her mind, but that should tell you Negan has a plan. He's, he does not want well, to kill and, our people. And, you know, he's not going to show it for Alpha, but I yeah. don't think he's happy with what's going on yeah stay and tuned for a couple videos we yeah. have some absolutely awesome reveals absolutely. on that but I, I think their interaction was great it, it really does seem alpha has taken with him yeah and well, but he's we, always close to what her. will be interesting is now he's gonna see so he's he's maybe not happy with her at the moment mm -hmm. but wait until he sees the aftermath of that battle yeah stay, that's gonna hit home stay tuned stay tuned for predictions another yep. video on that but i thought that was great but uh the battle itself i thought was was awesome the choreographing the the lighting it wasn't dark i mean it was the fire was great the shot at the end where Daryl is just standing there and you see the the painted wing from Judith and just the fire. I mean, it's just amazing. And there's some shots in our predictions coming where it actually shows more on fire. Yeah. Um, um, it's just great. It is. It was a great episode. It um, was great. I, I, I really did like it. Yeah, I really loved it. And uh, I think it was, you know, one of the best of the season. I mean, the, the, these remaining episodes are going to continue to get higher and higher. Um, especially the final two and uh, stay tuned we have synopsis for those two and oh, you're gonna want to hear about those but all in all great episode loved it um got me crying and got me freaked out um i know one of the scenes in our reaction that i cut was the the rats so the, the rats were <laughs> you cool. Cut that. Yeah, but I mean, it was, but it made sense because, like, yeah, there's rats that probably it, came it, out of the okay, cave. Okay, okay. But they're right. they're running away from the dead. Look, they're running it, away it, from it, the dead. Don't don't disagree. <laughs> it makes sense that living things would be running from the dead. Completely agree. But uh, but hundreds of rats in one specific area is not going to happen. Because just as much as they hate the dead, they hate the living too, for fear that they're going to get killed by the living. So He's so nitpicky. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I totally get yeah, it. Yeah. Um, it would have been cool to throw some birds in there, like a flock. You could have seen like a flock of birds. Fl well, why would they fly away? They're higher. They're, they're higher. not on the ground. Yeah, they're not on the ground. <laughs> no, but, but I get it. I get the premise. Yeah. I get I, the whole point of that was to show, look, a herd is coming. A horde is coming through the tree line. Right. It's gone down. Why else would hundreds of rats be running away from something? Because yeah, yeah. rats are just going to stay where they want. Yeah. They're not going to run away. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, let us know what you guys thought of the episode. Thank you guys so much for checking out Reaction. If you haven't, definitely I'll link it below and check that out. Feel free to subscribe, smash the like button, stay tuned for our predictions and another cool video in regards to the final episodes of the season and between Alpha and Negan. So, thank you guys so much. I'm Jarrell. I'm Josh. We're in our Nation. We're out.